So this is GH Brain TV. Thank you very much for always coming here to consume our content. Uh, we are currently at the premises of the Holy Spirit Cathedral right here in Accra, Ghana, Adabraka. And it's all about uh, yeah, Mrs. Antoinette Dumelo, uh, the mother of our very own John Dumelo. We are here to give you a life update, what is going on here, uh, and the people that are coming through and what the, the arrival and what is actually going on here uh, in the cathedral. So this is GH Brain TV. Thank you very much for always coming here, as I said earlier. Keep subscribing, comment, and like the video. Thank you. Humbly invite Sonny Baden to give us a song ministration.
thank you, our brother Sonny, for lifting up the spirits of the bereaved family. We continue with the reading of tributes. I will take that of the grandchildren. Tributes from the grandchildren. When they are done, we invite sister to take a tribute, the sublime. If you are just joining us. How often you complimented me when you saw me. I'll miss your great cooking and our conversations, which would always have one or two of our hilarious jokes. Hopefully, you are watching over my every move with a proud smile on your face up in heaven. Rest well. children to come up and take their various tributes. Jamasian Puma, a mouthful of 
Gonyacha. These were among the many names we had for you, some not for public consumption. For 45 years, we have been blessed with this wonderful personality, a gift from God. We used to say jokingly that we would write a whole book about you, a mother, mentor, headmistress, mother superior, commandant, and a great entertainer. Our home was very organized with duties and chores mapped out like that of a military camp or mini convent. Mommy, who brought us out to be multitasking, taking part in all house chores, even when we had households at our back and forth. We found it unpleasant, but it paid off when we started boarding school, and life seemed so easy at Holy Child and at Shemota schools, with all the hassles of being in Form 1. We recall one of your popular phrases in front of Mary Jimmy Kitchen, 5 p.m., speak and snap, and go to the kitchen. When you found us gallivanting, doing nothing, or making excuses, you would say, Infanti, if you are from an hour, more call. When you send us to pick up flowers, the tallest, roses, beds, and zero lilies, orchids, from the late Mrs. Esther, as of Guachi's place down the road in County 16. Hey, Madam Officer. You would call us several times for endless errands to the same place, bringing whatever you asked for one at a time instead of letting us know all that you needed. You would constantly remind us how your mother, grandma, Grace was so strict and admonition to put up the best of behavior without complaint. Interesting woman did. Mommy, with you, church issues were non-negotiable. As a staunch proud Catholic and elected reader, at the St. Joseph, the Weka Parish at Tama County 8. We watched in admiration how you and Kofi John, also a mass server then at the age of eight, winked at each other during mass of Sundays. One of our greatest joys was when Daddy was gladly received into the Catholic Church through your silent prayers and novenas in November 1997, during the days of Reverend Father John Louise, the then parish priest, now Bishop Louise. Mommy, you had a great sense of humor, entertaining us with jokes and childhood memories from Adabaka official town and Padas to escape from Marseille. And the fine, I would not have been in any other senior high school but Holy Child School. With your sisters and almost every female relation of friend around us being a Hobson or an affiliate, we were told the story of how we had practiced and rehearsed your line so well at a night lessons and carols event that when the light went off unexpectedly, we rattled on in the dark, unperturbed by the power interruption. The nuns at the time, we are told, were so impressed at your composure. By excellence. Madame Customs, we loved your job and stood out for justice and integrity. Sometimes accosting innocent passers by carrying their goods and vehicles with issues pertaining to customs duty. We found ourselves running around every morning helping to get ready for church for work. From ironing of your uniforms to the fixing of the pegs and name tags on it with the usual chenier as an archer. You gladly introduced us to your colleagues at work. And among them during our growing up where we said, Mr. Pupu Tiyama, Uncle Gilbert, J. Dapu, and Auntie Kate Watson, all of blessed memory. The famous customs Christmas party for officers, kids, and the head of this was something we looked forward to, especially the self starter bars that picked all the kids up from Tema to Accra along the beach road with our boutique. It was fun. We really had fun. Great memories, Mommy, because of you. Any sex official who entered the van was my special premier customer. Service extraordinary. What? This is what she has said. Maria Antoinette, we are classy, stylish, but simple, making sure we appeared in the best apparel for whichever occasion, and sometimes we would describe as cool. You ensured we carried ourselves well. We did not know of a better hostess than you, perhaps. This is where we got our event coordinating skills from. We called it Five Star Hotel and Banqueting Operations. Amal Fugoni, you were an excellent writer, very organized, with an impeccable command over the English language. And here I must say that Mummy had written a major part of her biography, 
neatly filed and kept safe, which I chanced upon a couple of weeks ago. I, I began with the word and I stopped it. Then I asked myself, ah, so my mother is no more here. Is she really gone? I saw my father's missed calls. I had missed that faithful day. And then when I called back, all he said was, Mommy is gone. And I asked, gone where? He responded, we are at UGMC. My drive there was the longest ever. But even though it took me about 10 minutes, it felt like 10 hours. When I finally arrived at the hospital, I saw her lying down and I smiled. She looked so beautiful and at peace in that moment. I knew she was in a better place. Every time you saw me, you say, hey, Kofi, hi, Tum Tum Papa. Kofi, you become dark. Hey, Kofi. Hey, can say Papa. Kofi, Brown Abba Farm, may go evening mass. Kofi, come and pick me up so that we attend evening mass. Oh, how I'll miss our lovely conversations. Our conversations were mostly centered on stories about your childhood in Anabaka, your Ashanti background, your Kroma's history, and how smugglers were always finding new ways to evade tax. You loved your job at Customs, Excise and Preventive Service, and indeed, I'm glad you served this country with such diligence, dignity, and integrity. You were known by, you were known by all for your honesty and high moral character, and would not condone corruption or any moral, or any moral attitude whatsoever. Mommy, we shared so many other great moments together. I'm glad you raised me to be a staunch Catholic. There was never a Sunday where you would where we would miss Mass. You served as a lecturer in church whilst I was a pastor. 